Hey friends, it's Tiger Chainsaw, and I'm back again for another edition of Retro Game Collecting. Now, if you've been paying attention to my channel the last few weeks, you have known that I did go to Ireland and that I picked up a ton of games on my vacation there. Uh, last week, I put out the first edition of my Ireland haul, which included a ton of Xbox One games. Well, this is the second part of my Ireland haul, and this time I am showcasing all of the PS4 games that I picked up while I was there. While I was there, I got all of these at CEX and GameStop, and as I stated in the other episode, I feel that I get so much better indie titles for cheaper overseas or in Hawaii, uh, basically anywhere that's not the mainland United States. So with that being said, I've got some games that I'm excited to show off and all of these games I picked up between three euros and 11 euros. So that's essentially three to, three to 11 dollars United States value. So let's get into it. The first game that I picked up uh, on the PS4 while I was in Ireland is Shadows Awakening. This was one of the very cheap games that I found probably at $3. Uh, it says, consume the souls of 14 playable characters, each with their own skill set. Complex puzzles are scattered throughout the game to challenge your skills. Witness a gripping storyline in a world full of myths destinies and legendary creatures so looks like it could be a action rpg um, other than that i really don't know too much about this game which is the case for many of these games that i picked up except this next game which i've heard nothing but great things but i found this i think for five dollars and I see it in the United States quite a bit, but it's usually $10. So I jumped on it when I had the chance to get it in Ireland. Haven't played this yet, but I know a ton of people, uh, casual gamers really enjoy this game. And that's Rocket League. So, I mean, you guys should know what Rocket League is. I don't need to explain it too much, but essentially it's, uh, it looks like Hot Wheels cars and the goal is uh, soccer or football if you are in the UK. So, looks like it's a ton of arcade fun and uh, hopefully I'll experience it sometime soon. Maybe when I have some friends over for a, a weekend we can play Rocket League because I've yet to play it. This next one is a game that I don't think has the best of reviews, but it's a series that is seen quite a few releases lately. Haven't played it, unfortunately, but I have a couple of them in the series. And that's uh, Valkyria Revolution. It says, a dramatic tale of revenge in a time of war. Bound by a promise, a young man casts his life onto the battlefield and takes on the incarnation, incarnation of death. So. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, I wonder why this one did not score the best. So if you've played it and you kind of didn't like it, let me know why. I, I'm interested to learn how come that one wasn't as scored as high as the rest of the series. This game is one that I've seen online a few times, not in person. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, I recognize that because occasionally I'll just browse bestbuy.com or Amazon just to see new titles that maybe I haven't uh, heard of before and this was actually one of them. So I picked up Scully on the PS4. Hop, skip, and roll your way to victory in this charming puzzle adventure platformer. So um, I don't know when I'll get to this one. I like the art style on the cover. I'll show you guys the art, or the, the cover again. It looks cool, I like that style. But this may be more of a simple game. I don't anticipate this one being too difficult, but if you have played it, you know, let me know. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven games left. This next game I see all the time in the United States. I see it all the time for about $10. And I found it in Ireland for maybe $4. And I was like, yeah, all right, it's time to get that game so I can finally stop seeing it in stores here. And I really like the cover. It's called Titan Quest. From the age of Empire's co-creator and Braveheart writer comes an innovative action role-playing game set in ancient Greece, Egypt, and Asia. The Titans have escaped their eternal prison, wrecking havoc upon Earth. The gods seek a hero who can turn the tide in an epic struggle that will determine the fate of both men and gods. So it sounds pretty epic. And that's interesting that the creator of Age of Empires had a hand at that. I like that series. I wonder if the gameplay is similar to that. That would uh, that'd make me want to play it a little bit more. So happy to have this in my collection finally. As I said, I see it all the time, but I just wasn't ready to pick it up for $10. Found it for four, thought it was time to get it. The next game that I picked up is Hell Warders. This is one that I never saw before until uh, my time in Ireland. It says, Hell is at our gates. Action RPG meets tower defense. Control powerful heroes, unleash devastating abilities, and deploy strategic defensive units. So all of that stuff sounds fun, but I wonder why I haven't heard of it before. Uh, as I said, a lot of these are smaller indie titles. Um, but I really dig the cover to this one. It looks, you know, with indie titles, I feel like cover art plays a, a much bigger role in seducing me to get the game because I, I simply don't know much about them. And so when I see a cover that looks really cool, it makes me want to get the game even more. Um, and I feel like that's how a lot of games were back in the 80s and early 90s. Um, you know, there wasn't, YouTube or the internet around back then and so you really had to go off of the back of the box and the front of the box and I think Hell Wardens or Hell Warders did a very good job with their cover art. This next game, oh yes, okay. Yeah, I'm very interested to hear you guys' thoughts on this game. I picked up Hidden Agenda, okay? And what's special about this game is you have to use a tablet or cell phone to play this game. So it says, either alone or with friends, choose how the hunt for the infamous trapper killer unfolds in this gripping crime thriller from the makers of the award-winning Until Dawn. Use your smart device to uncover clues, receive hidden objectives, and make major decisions with life or death consequences. consequences. So I'm not entirely sure how to play this with a tablet as well as the PS4. Uh, this is one that my wife and I are gonna play together. I think we can team up and kind of solve the mystery to this game. And um, this one was pretty cheap. And so I thought for the price, it could be a lot of fun. Okay. I saw this game once or twice in stores here and then I hadn't seen it in a while, and uh, I saw it again. I was like, man, it's, it's been some time since I've seen that. It might be time to pick it up. I like the cover. It's called Void Bastards. Have any of you ever heard of this game before? It says on the back, prepare to lead the misfit prisoners of the Void Ark through the dangers of the Sargosa Nebula. Master first-person shooter combat manage ship systems, scavenge supplies, craft weapons, build tools, and client upgrades, and much more. So it really seems like it's a giant mix of tons of different elements to gameplay. I dig the cell shade graphics that I'm looking at on the back, and I'm sure you guys are seeing it now. Um, I'm not entirely sure the ratings for it as far as the reviews and if it was received well. I guess I'll have to uh, figure that out by myself. 
I have three games left from my PS4 haul from Ireland. And let's go with Immortal Unchained. This cover really got to me. As again, I stated uh, indie games, I look much more at the cover and it, it looks great. Death is not the end. Unleashed from your eternal prison, you are an ultimate weapon tasked with saving the cosmos from a cataclysmic event. Experience intense tactical combat, explore an unforgiving universe, and uncover deadly secrets in the first shooter for the hardcore action RPG genre. So I do remember seeing this um, or looking at it, and I'm pretty sure it's like a Soulsborne shooter. And I think, I mean, I'm pretty certain, this came out before, uh, what's the game on the PS5? Returnal. Uh, I think it's similar to that type of style where it's extremely hard, it's gonna kick your butt. It's very Soulsborne-esque as far as the combat goes. And uh, I haven't played one of those yet as far as shooters go. So it definitely piqued my interest. I don't know if it got the best of scores, but I can take a chance on that. It, it sounds pretty unique and uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. Two games left. I picked up Genesis Alpha 1. Never heard of it. And when I saw the cover, it looked pretty cool. I saw that it was by Team 17, a publisher that I recognize. And it says, roguelike on an epic scale. In the near future, Earth is devastated. As the captain of a Genesis starship, you must journey into uncharted space on the ultimate mission. Find a new home for the humanity's DNA and save our species from extinction. Ah, are humans really worth saving? I just don't know sometimes. Either way, this game looks pretty cool, or it at least sounds pretty cool. Um, you know, so many of these games that I picked up, I really don't know too much about. So any of these games that I've mentioned, if you have played them, let me know a little bit more about them and if they're good, if they're bad. That way I know uh, if my haul was worth it. I have one last game that I picked up in Ireland on the PS4, and this is part two of my Ireland haul series. The final haul video that I'll be showcasing um, from Ireland is my Sega Master System games that I picked up, and I'm very excited to show those off. There's some doozies that I'm real excited about, and uh, some also some obvious games that I just didn't have in my collection. And so you guys can look forward to that sometime soon. The final game that I picked up on the PS4 is a all-time classic on the PlayStation Vita, but I never had the Vita. Uh, there's only one person that I know that had it um, when it came out, and he really enjoyed it, but I just feel that you know Sony really didn't support it that much, and that's probably why I was never too interested in getting it. But this game came out for it, and it's hailed critically all over, and the PS4 version is also very, very well received. I picked up Tearaway Unfolded. It says, unfold an incredible adventure. Uncover the true power of your DualShock 4 to join forces with a toy, the messenger, in a daring quest to deliver a top secret message. Unfold her magical papery world, save her pals in Perel, and battle the monsters trying to stop her delivery. The vibe I get from this is Little Big Planet. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it literally says, it literally says, from the creators of Little Big Planet. So, gee, I wonder why I got that vibe. Uh, but I do know that it's very well received. If you guys have played it on the Vita, let me know. And uh, I really need to pick up a Vita. I really need to do that. But those are the games that I got in Ireland uh, for the PS4. So in total, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Picked up eleven PS4 games in Ireland. Out of all of them, which one is the best? Which one are you guys saying, yeah, that's a great pick? 
Which one are you guys saying, that is a terrible game, why would you get that? And then which one are you guys thinking, hey, I want to learn more about? Anyway, uh, drop me a comment below. Thank you for watching this video and um, stay tuned as I'll have Ireland Part 3, the Sega Master System Collection, up soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.